Today I'll be installing a backup camera on a 2001 Chevrolet Impala. So let's get this box open and take a look at what we've got to work with. We've got our quick installation guide, the manual for the camera, and a little form to uh, do whatever with. So we've got our camera, the monitor, the window or dash mount, wires, and the connectors. We're going to start by removing the license plate with a simple screwdriver. And set the plate aside for now. Using a door panel tool, we're going to pull these three clips off of the bumper here. Next, we're going to get our camera out of the box and uh, run this wire up through the bumper and attach it to the license plate. You may have to pull the weather stripping off and stick your panel tool between the bumper and the deck to get a little space in here like I did. Then just fish the wire through the opening by the license plate up to your panel tool and pull it out the other end. And pull all the rest of the slack into the trunk for now. So we're going to peel the red tape off the back of the camera and stick it to the plate, more towards the middle. Next, we're just going to put the license plate back on, tighten it down with the screwdriver. The camera itself is adjustable, so you could set it to a nice angle for yourself. Next, we're going to tuck this wire underneath the weather stripping and uh, right behind this light here. So there's just two connectors that you can move by hand. They're not very tight at all. And then pull the carpet back. Now we can run our wire through the grommet right next to the existing wire loom that goes through the trunk right here. And just pull it through from the other side. Here we can tuck in the wire a bit, the parts that are not slack. I'm just going to pop this panel up a little bit, tuck the wire under there, and then slap it back down. Now we can start feeding the other end of our wire up through the deck lid, up to the reverse lights. So we're going to pull out this other grommet on the other side of the wire loom, and same thing, just stuff it through, pull it out at another point in the deck lid. I'm going to leave this hanging here for a second, we can start taking the connectors that hold the entire reverse light assembly. It takes up the entire deck lid, so there's nine of these clips that have to come out.
So once all nine of those fasteners come off, the entire reverse light assembly will come right off the back. You just have to pull it a bit. Let's see if we can get you a nice angle here. If you twist both reverse lights out of this assembly and pull the wire off, you can put this somewhere else, like inside the vehicle, since it's raining where we're at right now. So we're going to run this wire through the last grommet that's uh, right behind the reverse light assembly right here, and then pull it through to the farthest light. That's where we're going to connect it. All right, so we did have a little bit of rain outside, so I couldn't really get a nice shot of the connectors. So I'm going to show you guys what I did here. So from the bottom of the car, we have that backup camera wire. And it's a black wire that splits off into two strands. Red. And black, of course. And then from this side, we've got our reverse light itself. It's got two wires as well. It's got a black wire. And a green wire. And we're going to use T-taps. They're quick disconnects or quick connects that will help you with this. And basically, each wire is going to go into this quick connect. There's a little metal plate in the middle that will squeeze down between the two when you pinch it with pliers. And it will allow you to have a nice clean connection without breaking the wire or soldering in any way. So we're going to twist our reverse lights back into the assembly and then pull the wires so that they're taut and attach this back to the trunk lid. Then we install all nine of those fasteners again. I won't show you that part though. So we're going to bunch the slack of this wire up and zip tie it to the deck lid right here. Now that we're finished back here, we could push these three fasteners back into the bumper. You might have to tap them down with the screwdriver here. Next, we're just going to pull this carpet up, tuck these wires in, and put the locks that hold the uh, light back on, those little pla plastic fasteners again. Zip tie your cables together, then cut off the excess, and we're done in the back trunk area. Alright, so we're using an add-a-fuse tap. This one's for the fuse box right here. We're just going to take our power wire that we broke off the end of our 12-volt cigarette lighter. We just straight up cut it right off the end and just separated the red and black wires. So we're crimping the red wire to this. We're going to insert a fuse, a 20 amp into the bottom slot, and a 10 amp into the top slot. The 10 amp we're pulling right out of the fuse box. This fuse just so happens to be the backup light fuse, which was perfect to use for this example. So we can plug this back into where we pulled the 10 amp fuse out of, and then we uh, just have to hook up our ground, then we'll be good to go. So we're going to take out this body mount bolt right here to 10 millimeter. It's got it on a little ratchet with an extension. We're going to take that out, throw a ring connector on the other end, and use this as a nice ground for it. Alright, so here's what we got going on. We are on the passenger side glove box, the right hand side fuse box. We are using this 10 amp fuse right here for the backup light to power our dash camera. 
using an add a fuse tap we just added a 20 amp in front of it and a 10 amp we took right out of here and added this add a fuse tap in just like this and that's and it and then used the ground right here on this body bolt